Hey, my name is Steve and welcome to Command Shift New and our Logic Pro quick tips in three minutes or less. Today we're looking at the different LCD displays you can switch between because there are some surprising little features you may not be aware of. The LCD display is located at the top in the center of the toolbar and is a crucial way to navigate your session. However, no two composers or producers are the same, so you can change what it is displaying in this area using the down arrow to the right of the display, allowing you to see what is important to your session. By default, beats and projects show the bars and beats as well as critical details about your track, such as the tempo, the key, and the time signature. However, you can change it to, say, beats and time, or just beats or just time to help keep things streamlined. If you pick either options that have large in brackets next to it, you will actually see more subdivisions of the beats or the time to offer more precision as well. However, if you are keen on a lot of detail, maybe custom is the best option, allowing you to see beats and time with all subdivisions, plus cycle in and out positions, vary speed controls, tempo and grid controls, MIDI in and out controls, and CPU and hard drive demand. This does take up more space on the toolbar, but it might be great if you're working on a film score, for example, where you may be regularly working between time and beats, as well as changing the tempo or time signature constantly. Many of these controls can be single clicked, double clicked, or dragged too, to copy and paste time codes, change grid sizes, or adjust the tempo up and down. One other cool feature you may not have seen before is that you can pop out a dedicated window for either time or beats, and you can scale those to any size. If you open a giant beats or time display, you can resize these windows and drag them to dedicated displays. This could be helpful when recording, for example, when you want to quickly see what the bar you are up to, or when you are timing Foley recording to the precise second of a film. It also offers more flexibility, especially in larger studio setups or recording sessions. If you've enjoyed this quick tip and would like to hear more, why not like the video and subscribe for the next one? You never know what new trick you might pick up. Happy music making, and I will see you in the next one.